New insight into the pervasive issue of stolen guns in Durham. WRL investigates previously reported more than one gun a day is stolen there on average. New tonight, Durham reporter Sarah Kruger spoke with an officer who shares how this is affecting you, even if you are not a victim. When a gun is stolen in Durham, the story doesn't stop there. It means the firearm is now on the streets, often untraceable in the hands of criminals. Sometimes those guns do go on to be used in, in violent crimes and shootings and other, other criminal activities. And because they're stolen, it's, it's extremely hard for us to follow through and, and to track those. Sergeant Michael Beal says when a gun is stolen, there's a ripple of impact. That places strain on an already understaffed department. We could reduce the, our, our call volume, our officers having to respond out to those incidents initially. We could reduce the follow-up crimes that are associated with those. Our investigators would have more time to focus on other things. Data from the Durham Police Department shows from January 1st through November 26th of 2022, there were 331 cases of one gun or multiple guns being stolen. In 56% of those cases, they were stolen from cars. And in 62% of those instances, the car was unlocked, making these highly preventable crimes. Presents a, a huge safety concern for, for our city and for our community. Sergeant Beal encourages people to store their guns inside their homes in a safe or with a lock. Beyond that, he says it's important to record your gun's serial number. If their gun were to be stolen for any reason, that we would have that serial number available immediately to enter it into uh, the national database, and that can help us track, um, track and recover that gun a little bit easier. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Durham. Now, Durham police say if you have a gun at home, you don't want it anymore. You can always call the police non-emergency number and they will pick it up for you.